أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويصل لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي ببركة ومدد سيدي محمد فوز الكركري قدس الله سره الشريف كركرية 101 12th question How should I feel about Ibn Arabi and Wahdat al-Wujud? And isn't Wahdat al-Wujud just pantheism? Sidi Shaykh, Sidi Muhammad Fawz al-Karkari, Qaddas Allah Sirrah, taught us that we should leave matters of creation to the Creator. We are not the Lord and Creator of Ibn Arabi to judge his faith. The Prophet wasallam also said in one hadith, do not abuse the dead, for they have arrived at what they put forward. Thus, a common Muslim should either respect and pray for other dead Muslims, especially those who have been respected by generations of Muslims for centuries, or at least be neutral and leave their judgment to God. A person should, however, if they claim to be a Sufi and wish to embark on the path of spiritual cultivation and illumination, understand that true Sufis hold Ibn Arabi Allah Sirrahu in high esteem. These are a few the, there are few exceptions of individuals who claim to be Sufis and Islamic spiritual masters who attacked Ibn Arabi and his legacy. However, the vast majority of those who came after Ibn Arabi, including those from our Tariqa Shadiliya and the mystics of their times, known as the people of light, assert that Ibn Arabi was a great shaykh and respected his work immensely. This is regarding Ibn Arabi. Now, what about Wahdat al-Wujud? And is it merely akin to pantheism? It's essential to note that Ibn Arabi himself never used the term Wahdat al-Wujud. Instead, it was some of his students who first employed the term, obviously with a different meaning than that understood by so-called academics of today who lack the, uh, the epistemological means to grasp such spiritual subtleties. You will never find in the writings of Ibn Arabi the expression Wahdat al-Wujud. Regarding Ibn Arabi belief and theology, however, it aligns with the belief of all true Sufi knowers of Allah Azza wa Jal, which is that the only real existent is Allah and everything else is illusory. This is not pantheism, which posits that the world is God and thus merges and thus merges the creator with his creation. Contrarily, Sufism teaches that this world in reality does not exist as it appears. Everything we see is an illusion. In truth, the only existent is God and his light. This world is a veil, an illusion, akin to the mirage, sarab, described in the Qur'an. So, so what is the world in Sufi belief? It is merely a veil covering and mirroring the internal light of God, the core of existence. Everything we see with our physical eyes is like a garment, an illusory cover, reflecting an internal reality as exemplified in the Qur'anic verse of light, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. This implies that the heavens and the earth, as we perceive them, are veils, are veils. The true essence behind this manifestation is Allah, the soul existent, and his light. Allah is thus light, veiled and obscured by his creation. Or concealed also by his creation. The light of the heavens and the earth mirror his luminous emanation and its descent into the niche of contingency. This process involves the bundling, the bundling of the streams of light carrying Allah's names and attributes, acting as their vehicles from the concealed realm of his absoluteness, Majd al-Butun, 
to that of the appearance, Majla al-Zuhur. When this emanation occurred, a singular light emerged, burst in a multitude of streams. When these lights, when these lights converged, they blended into an infinity of junctions and possibilities, which were obscured by this world we see, the dunya, the lowest manifestation or illusory cover of God's light carrying his attributes and names. Thus the world we perceive does not truly exist. It is an illusion, a cover, a veil, a sort of mirror. Lifting this obscure and veil reveals only the light of God and the soul existent, Allah Azza wa Jal. This is the creed of the true Sufis, or this is the Sufi creed. It contradicts pantheism, which equates the physical world with God. Yet Sufis in their poetry and writings may express seeing Allah in everything. This is, a, uh, this is a reflection of their veils being lifted. They see God's light before, during, and after their visualization of the, the manifest physical things, as taught by our Shaykh Ibn Ata'illah al-Iskandari in his book on aphorisms Al-Hikam. The true knowers of Allah Azza wa Jal live within and beyond the veil perceiving the reality within the illusion. They do not equate the obscure and veil with reality, but recognize the real even within this obscure and veil, that is, the physical world around us. To a true arif, to a true knower of God, a thing reveals not just its form, but the light of God behind it linking the manifested object to its luminous source and the bundles of light it obscures. This is what has been taught to us by our Shaykh Sidi Muhammad Fazil Karkari through his lectures and the experiences of his light manifest in our hearts. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallayta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ala Sayyidina Ibrahim وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين